Hey guys, Tim here, and today we're in the Jetta. It's on the road, but it's not happy. But it's all I've got right now, and I'll tell you about that in a minute. But I've got to go and take this thing to get it cleaned because it is absolutely filthy. Now, with the Jetta running like a bag of shit, you'd think I could just jump in a T5, and you'll be wrong. I went to get in it the other day and it looks like some water has got in to the window control module, um, which also controls the electric folding mirrors. So it means I can't unfold my mirrors. It's a common problem with these T5s and it's just another thing that has failed on this van. I mean, it is an old van, didn't have any service history, but still looking online, it's quite a common problem with these. Um, I've had enough of it. I'm at the point where I could just sell this van. It's not the most fuel efficient car in the barn, and so, yeah, it means that, um, yeah, I kind of need something else. Now, I know what you're thinking. You're thinking, Tim, if you want a cheap car to run, why don't you drive your diesel Jetta? It runs on thin air and costs nothing doing it. Well, there's a couple of problems with this as well. Yeah, I know, right? I'm having no end of bad luck. So there's two things with, that's wrong with this car. One is that the, uh, the clutch started slipping. That's right. After I filmed the last video with it, which was a long time ago, last summer, when I took it on that first shakedown run down to go and see Monkey. Later that day, the clutch started slipping. So it's not been a particularly great car, but it's not just that. I could drive it gently and it would get me around. The other problem that you can't see is it stinks. I mean, this car was parked up for a very long time before I got it. And if you look in here, thank yourself lucky you can't smell it. Because even though this is in a dry barn, it absolutely stinks. I mean, I can smell it now. It's a mix of, I don't know. Some people think it smells of weed. Other people think it smells of mold. I don't know, but whatever it is, it is gross. And yeah, it's just not pleasant. You get in it and you just get hit with this overpowering stench. I've tried all sorts. I've sprayed it with like ozone cleaner or whatever that stuff is, like the cans you put in and it just sprays everywhere. It's still horrible. It just smells like that with this air freshener. So I haven't been driving this. I've got an idea of what to do with this. But at the moment, there's just no room in the barn for it. So it looks like I need to pull my finger out and get this Mini press sorted. The paintwork isn't up to much, but you know what? It will get me about. It seems to run pretty nicely. But again, it's not left the barn. So is this little Mini going to be my saviour? Well, we'll see. Now, to fit over the coilovers, we need a set of 17s. I've been looking and looking and looking. There was a cheap set on eBay. I should have just pulled the trigger and got them bought. They had tires and they were a bargain delivered. But I slept on it and they were gone. So it means that I've been looking for another set of wheels and they come up cheap and they go really quickly or they're at the other end of the country. So I thought I'll do what any sensible, sane person would do. And I would buy a donor car. That's right. We've got this little Mini Cooper that's been made to look like a Mini Cooper S. Yeah, okay. Um, it had black wheels on. Obviously, we've taken them off now. So it means I've got this black Mini that I need to do something with. It doesn't run. It was jump-started and died after it um, by the previous owner. It's got a Cooper S kit on it. It's got this bonnet. But you know what? it's just nasty. It's been rattle canned, matte black. The interior is disgusting. I mean, yeah. I don't really know what to do with this. Part of me thinks I should just weigh it in and cut my losses. I've got a set of wheels out of it. I paid 300. Now, if I weigh it in, I'll get about 190 pounds for it. And I've got a set of wheels, which you'd think would be a good deal, right? Well, other than the fact that every single wheel is curved pretty badly, so I need to spend at least 100 quid getting them refurbed. When I went to swap the tyres over, I noticed that this one is actually bent. Now, we've straightened it a bit with a mallet. And it does balance up. But I'm seriously not going to run that on my car, am I? Let's be fair. So I'm back to square one. I'm 300 pounds out. I've got three wheels and one dented one. The tyres are all right. But otherwise, we're going to take the L on that, boys. But it's not all doom and gloom. Honestly, it feels the darkest before the rats jump out and get you in the barn. Um, it feels darkest before the dawn. And look, there is some good stuff going on right now. Now I'm down at the back end of the barn here in the bit that we normally don't see. I've got uh, this golf up on a rollover jig, 
we've got the cadet shell we've got the track car behind me and we've got the cordoba coupe along with um, some engines and some assorted stuff to sort out and we've got an abf we've got a 180 we've got a compressor and a whole bunch of assorted rubbish piled up in the corner that is just accumulated but i need to tidy all that up because we are having a big move around there's some really exciting stuff going on and this is kind of a big part of it now you see here we've got this wall which has been here for a long time but we've put some batten down it to support it and there's actually a hole here now which there wasn't and the reason for that is the exciting bit because now you can see here i can walk through to the other side which i haven't been able to do before but we've got a bunch of hinges all down here uh, this needs a good clean and a degrease but you can see that what we've got here is a set of folding doors that's right we've kind of made our own custom barn folding door system and hopefully it works but what it means now is i need to put a wall from here down to there so we're gonna have like a little enclosed booth area a clean room a paint booth whatever you want to use it for or just some storage we're gonna box it in then eventually we're gonna put a roof on it to keep all the barn dust and nastiness out so in the future we could actually paint some cars in there but to get this wall in i'm gonna to need to take this off its rollover jig and drop it down onto a dolly so we can move it around Put the wall in and then we've got we'll have that on skates and we'll have that's already on on a skate so we can move them around and actually have a bit of a rejig in the barn and then the idea is to have this space um kind of like a couple of bays put a couple of ramps in we've been toying with the idea we've got that old ramp that i got for free ages ago it's just horrible that needs to get scrapped so we're getting shot of that we've got a couple of new ramps that are super cheap and I might not have to pay for them for a little while. But what it means today, we need to get this golf moved and get this wall up. And that's going to be a massive win. And frankly, at the moment, I could do with a win, guys. So look, um, let's, let's, let's get to work and let's get this wall done today. But first things first, I've got to take that golf off that rollover jig, which on my own might be a bit of a hard job. You may have noticed Sam has joined me. Sam's come up today to give me a hand. We've got the front down. Now we just need to reposition and just be as sketchy at the back of the car as we were at the front. With a lot less drama than the front end, we've now got the back down, the whole car is on its skate, so we can just move the shell around and yeah, we can get cracking with this wall. We've got plenty of space to now fit the wall to the post and bolt it to the floor and then back to this, uh, this wall here. Right, with the floor swept, it's time to frame up the uh it's time to frame up where the walls are going so we're going to start by drilling a post into the wall that we're ultimately going to bolt the panels to and then one to the floor to lift it up to help keep the wall panels level when they go on so yeah so we've got the pole that's bolted to the wall just screwing that in now and then we've got these bits of wood which we're just going to run and frame it over to the post and then we've got a bunch more of these kind of aluminium clad panels to screw in place and that'll give us our wall. Now behind me is most of the new wall and you can see here, if we look around here, we've got the barn. I haven't been able to do this before. So it's kind of totally opened up this space. So you can see here that we've got a bunch of cars around here we've got the roller shutter and looking at it yeah you can see behind me it really does open up the space as sam hides behind the post um so what we've got is three panels in here we've got one more to go in here which conveniently when you look at the when you look at the wall down here we've used this to space up and actually it looks like it's two panels per piece of wood and that one is right up against the wall there so hopefully it's going to fit and if it doesn't we just need to undo three bolts and just knock it across a couple of uh a couple of mil so that's going to work out really well but what we do need to do before we put this panel on is obviously take these off the door these braces were to keep it sort of stable while we didn't have this wall on now we've got it on it's not going to fall off so if we didn't undo that and we just screwed that in this would be entombed forever which looking at the two shells we've got sat here might not be the end of the world, but still, 
we're going to undo that and that will mean the doors will open and then we can get this last panel in place and this little box is almost complete now it's just that last little patch and that's it the doors are free so around the other side we got a door and then this side is this gonna it's gonna go as well now this really has gone a lot smoother than i thought it was going to so just this last panel going into place and that's kind of it with the last bolt in place that's it we've now got a five by five meter box room um, the roof is still yet to go on it and that's that's going to have to wait because i think it's going to cost me about 250 pounds to do that and at the moment there is not 250 pounds to do that but still we'll get there but i think this is a huge step in the right direction now obviously these all need a clean i got these panels for free in the first place they were literally sat on the back of a trailer up the farm they were put in place to, to make a makeshift wall and then they never got anything done with them but obviously we want this to be clean ultimately we want to be painting in here at one, at one stage so it means i'm gonna to have to get some degreaser spray these jet wash them give them a good brush and hopefully this will be uh, a, a nice clean little wall now obviously there's a whole bunch of cobwebs on this back wall as well we're gonna to have to displace a whole bunch of spiders but still look again i don't know what i'm saying i'm at that point now where it's been a long day uh, <laughs> we've got it done though that's the main thing is that this is done we can move these cars around they're on uh, they're on casters so if they go this way we can spin them around and they'll go that way we've got these doors here we need to finesse this a little bit move it up get some get a caster wheel on the bottom to support that weight on the end because it's two of these big heavy panels so we want to make uh, make sure that that's okay and it's not going to drop but look here we are this is the new room um as we come around the other side we can see that we've got the barn has been opened up massively so through here we've got a bunch of room here and then we've got all the cars around the other side here as well so what's the plan well i guess we've got this in we want to put a roof on that but not yet we've got this area it's going to be the main working area in the barn so you could get three cars along here and further down the line we're going to have two two post ramps that's the plan for now we can have a bit of a rejig we can get three cars in here we can have there's a couple of projects i want to do where i need two cars side by side to do it so it means that we can move these out here get the project cars in this space and then we've got this nice area with a solid with a solid floor that we can actually start working on so what do you think we put up a wall we put up two walls but still look this is done this is for me it's a massive win and look if you're still here watching this video thank you ever so much let me know down in the comments and let me know you're still here and i'm pretty sure the guys who've been with the channel for a long time are going to watch this to the end to see exactly what 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 we're up to and also to see what's coming up because as i say we've been gone a little while this was a big project it didn't take a long time to do it but psychologically i needed to do it i needed a win guys and yeah i think we've got it so next up we're going to be moving some of these cars around moving some of these around there's a couple of familiar faces behind me i don't think there's anything you haven't seen before and yeah with that with that said guys thank you ever so much for watching if you haven't already like the video subscribe to the channel and i'll see you on the next one